Hello and welcome back to Sora Assist. Adam here and today I'm going to be highlighting the top 10 Champion Europe goalkeepers. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. If you're not signed up to Sora yet, sign up using the link below to get a free limited card and 13 common cards. Also check out Patreon as well and SoraAssist.com. Okay guys, let's get stuck into today's video then. So as I say, I'm going to be highlighting the top 10 Champion Europe goalkeepers. This is based on the form of the last few seasons, the clean sheets, and obviously the amount of saves and other important statistics that goalkeepers make during a game. Goalkeepers are more important than ever now on so rare with the new scoring matrix. So it's vital that you do have the best ones in your teams. Because it could be a difference between going home empty handed or picking up that star reward. This is part one so there will be a two part series this. And I'm going to be counting down from number 10 to number 1. These are ranked in order as well. This obviously is my personal opinion. This isn't a financial advice of course and always do your own research. Okay guys, so let's get stuck in to who I've gone for at number 10 then. So at number 10, I've gone for Chesney of Juventus. He's currently injured, but at the time of recording, it's not un un it's not sure whether it's going to be a long-term injury or not. But judging by the end of reports, it's not going to be too long that the pole is going to be out of action. He's got an L40 of 52 at the moment, and he's going for around 192 for his limited, 1612 for his rare card. If we look at the statistics, obviously this season he's only played two games, but he's had 75% saves. No clean sheets as of yet, unfortunately. 2021 season, he had 73% saves, 2.4 saves per game, and he also had 12 clean sheets. Previous season to that, he had 69% saves, 2.4 saves per game, and 5 clean sheets. So, as you can see, he's a really decent option in your goalkeeper slot, and Juventus, of course, have got some decent defenders in the lineup as well. So, coming in at number 9 is Alex Romero of Real Sociedad. Just 27 and got a contract till 2027 with Real Sociedad as well, so a long contract there. L40 of 54. His limited is going for around 167 at the moment, and his rare is going for around 1982. If we look at this season, he's done well so far for it 69% shots saved, 3 shots per game, and 2 clean sheets so far this season in 3 games. Last season, he had 71% save ratio, 2.3 saves per game. And I also had a fantastic 19 clean sheets last season. In the 2020-21 season, 64% of shots saved, 1.8 per game. And also 14 clean sheets. So as you can see, Alex Romero is getting plenty of clean sheets, plenty of saves as well. So it looks like a really good option, especially at this sort of price range for a champion Europe goalkeeper with a long contract. Coming in at number 8 is Manuel Neuer of Bayern Munich. He is 36 now, but he has got a contract till 2024. Got an L40 of 54, and his limited is going for around 351 at the moment, and his rare is going for around 2,888. This season so far, he's started all four games, of course. 86% of shots saved, three shots saved per game, and also two clean sheets. If you look at the previous season, he had 71 shots saved, 2.3 saved per game, and also 10 clean sheets. And 2020-2021 season, he had 66% of shots saved, 2.5 saves per game, and he had 9 clean sheets. So as you can see, a lot of people were probably surprised by Neuer being only at number 8. But even though he's playing for one of the best teams in the Champion Europe division, as you can see, he's not actually kept as many clean sheets as Alex Ramiro. And he's also not making as many saves as well, obviously, because Bayern Munich don't have that many shots at their goal, because they usually... A dominant side in most of their games so this is why he is at number eight coming in at number seven is mark andre testegen of barcelona l40 of 50 he's got a contract till 2025 his limited is going for around 240 at the moment and his rare is going for around 2268 so this season it started off well 2.7 saves per game 89 percent save ratio and also two clean sheets in three games previous season he had 69 percent a shot saved, 2.2 per game, and 11 clean sheets, which again is a fairly decent number. And in 2020-2021 season, 2.5 saves per game at 71% save ratio. And he also kept 11 clean sheets in that season as well. So as you can see, there's another player, although playing for a big side, he's not really kept that many clean sheets over the last few seasons. Obviously, 11 clean sheets is good, 
But again, if we go back to the example of Romero, who's kept 19 and 14 clean sheets in the last two seasons, this is why Testegen is at number seven. He's obviously playing for a good club, who are proven, improving as well. So obviously his clean sheets could potentially improve. So that is the person who's at number seven. So number six, I've gone for Unai Simon of Atletico Club. Just 25, this guy, and he's got a contract till 2025. He's also, of course, in and around the Spain squad, which is always a bonus. His limited is going for around 285 at the moment, and his rare is going for around 2385. His L14 is 52 at the time of recording. This season started well, 100% save ratio, 1.7 saves per game, and also three clean sheets in three games, so a very good start. Last season, he had 2.4 saves per game, 73% save ratio, which is brilliant, and also 12 clean sheets as well. Previous season to that, he only had 1.9 saves per game, 64% save ratio, and only 9 clean sheets. But obviously, he's still young. He's a Spanish international as well. And it looks like he could be improving over the next few seasons. And obviously, he started this season really well as well, so I do have high hopes for Unai Simon. So that was the end of part one of my top 10 Champion Europe goalkeepers. I will of course be counting down from 5 to 1 in next in the next video coming up shortly on this channel. So make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. Of course if you're not signed up Surrey yet, sign up using the link below to get 13 common cards and a free limited card. Also check out my Patreon as well for regular scouting on there and surreyassist.com. And also the Patreon now as well, you can also get a 30% discount from SurreyTools.com. This is an exclusive offer with the Surrey Assist Patreon. Okay guys, thanks for watching as always, and I'll see you again soon.